A man, his wife and a good-looking stranger are stranded on a desert island. The wife quickly loses interest in her husband and begins flirting with the good-looking stranger. The three start to build a watchtower. The stranger offers to take first watch. While the husband and wife gather driftwood on the sand, the stranger yells, Hey, no on the beach! Get back to work! The husband yells back, We're not having s**t! Later, the stranger yells out to them again. Again, the husband yells back and corrects him. This happens several times during the stranger's shift. Finally, the husband takes his shift in the watchtower. His wife and the good-looking stranger make passionate love on the beach. The husband on watch exclaims, Wow, it really does look like up here. A man and his wife were traveling down the highway when they saw the lights of a patrol car behind them. When they pulled over, the patrol man came up to the window and said, I am going to give you two tickets, one because you were speeding and one because you didn't have your seatbelt fastened. The man said, I did too have my seatbelt fastened. I just loosened it when you came up to the car. The patrol man said to the man's wife, I know he didn't have his seatbelt fastened. Isn't that right, lady? She replied, Well, officer, I learned a long time ago not to argue with my husband when he's drunk. De to toll. My friend told me about a young man who went to the doctor and said, Doctor, help me. I have serious problems dealing with women. The doctor replied, Yes, I'm listening carefully. The young man explained, The thing is, all the girls run away from me. The doctor asked, What do you do to make them run away? The young man said, Well, for example, yesterday I invited a girl to my place, set a luxurious table, and we had a romantic candlelit dinner. But as soon as we got to the bedroom, she ran away. The doctor asked for more details. The young man continued, So I laid her down on the bed, undressed her, inserted my p and then put my hand in after it. The doctor interrupted, Wait, why did you put your hand in there? The young man replied, Well, how else am I supposed to ma- One morning when I was going out of the house, I met my neighbor's daughter who was pregnant. When I returned home, I saw her father closing the door. I told him, your daughter hasn't married yet. I wonder how it is possible a girl without any husband be pregnant. For a moment her father with a bitter smile said, She isn't pregnant. It is all wind in her belly. She farts and would recovery. Next year perchance I saw the same girl with a baby in her arms. Next day when I was going out facing her father, so I told him, I saw your daughter with her fart in her arms. A guy came to a village, went to the collective farm's bar, and got to know the locals. They were sitting and drinking. Suddenly, he saw one guy pass out, and the locals dragged him somewhere. He asked, where are they taking him? They replied, they're going to have their way with him. We don't have many women here, you know. It's a custom. Just keep drinking. Don't worry. He kept drinking and passed out. When he woke up, a crowd of locals was dragging him somewhere. He yelled, Guys, no, I've already come to my senses. They calmly replied, Relax, we're just taking you back. A couple returns from their honeymoon, refusing to speak to each other. The groom's best friend takes him aside and asks what's wrong. Well, replies the man, when we finished making love on the first night, I put a $50 bill on the pillow without thinking. Oh, you shouldn't worry about that too much, says his friend. I'm sure your wife will get over it soon enough. She can't expect you to have been saving yourself all these years. That's not the problem, the groom says. She gave me $20 change. A lady promised her grandson that she would invite clowns for his birthday. The birthday arrives, but there are no clowns. Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. The grandson shouts, Clowns! Clowns! The woman opens the door to find two drunk homeless men. They ask if there's any work in the garden for food. Feeling sorry for them, she says, Go chop some wood in the garden. 
The grandson starts crying because there are still no clowns. Then, the woman looks out the window and sees one of the homeless men doing tricks in the garden. He's throwing himself on the ground, doing pirouettes and climbing the apple tree. It even looks like he's singing. She knocks on the window and calls the other homeless man over, saying, Will your friend perform like this for my grandson? I'll pay $50. The homeless man shouts, Hey, for 50 bucks, will you let me chop off your second finger? As the crowded elevator descended, Mrs. Simpson became too furious with her husband, who was delighted to be pressed against a gorgeous blonde. As the elevator stopped at the main floor, the blonde suddenly whirled, slapped Mr. Simpson, and said, That will teach you to pinch! Bewildered, Mr. Simpson was halfway to the parking lot with his wife when he choked. I... I... didn't pinch that girl! Of course you didn't, said his wife, consolingly. I did. A priest and a nun were on a mission trip up in the mountains when a snowstorm came up. They saw an abandoned log cabin and went inside. The priest started a fire in the fireplace and found blankets and a sleeping bag, but only one bed. The priest told the nun that she could sleep on the bed and he would sleep in the sleeping bag in the floor, as they were alone and beginning to get settled. The young nun said, Father. In a song-song voice, he answered, Yes, sister. I'm cold. The priest got up and went to the closet and got another blanket and covered the nun. As he was settling back into his sleeping bag, she again said, Father. Yes, sister. I'm still cold. The priest got up and got another blanket from the closet and added it to the sister's bed, tucking her in. He climbed back into the sleeping bag. Just as he was getting settled and the fire was crackling, she called out to him again. I'm still cold he said. Sister? Yes. We are all alone out here in this cabin in the mountains. Yes, we are. Just this once. Yes, just tonight. Yes. Do you want to pretend that we are married? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, get up and get your own dang blanket. A young couple were married and celebrated their first night together, doing what newlyweds do, time and time again, all night long. Morning comes and the groom goes into the bathroom but finds no towel when he emerges from the shower. He asks the bride to please bring one from the bedroom. When she gets to the bathroom door, he opened the door, exposing his body for the first time to his bride, where she sees all of him well. Her eyes went up and down, and at about midway, they stopped and stared, and she asked shyly, What's that? pointing to a small part of his anatomy. He, also being shy, thought for a minute and then said, Well, that's what we had so much fun with last night. She, in amazement, asked, Is that all we have left? A man asks his mute friend what he wants in a woman. The mute friend points to his head. His friend says, Yes, intelligence is important. Then, the mute friend rubs his thumb on the palm of his hand. His friend nods and says, Certainly a woman with money would be nice. Then, the mute friend opens his hands wide in front of him, cups his fingers and makes a bouncing motion. His friend looks at him strangely. What the heck do you want a woman with arthritis for? A military officer's wife came to the unit commander with a request. Influence my husband. He's cheating on me. The commander asked, Is he really cheating? Do you have any evidence? She said, I do. I found women's underwear in his pocket. Just then, the alarm sounded. The commander put the underwear in his pocket and said, All right, we'll deal with this later. After the alarm, late in the evening, the tired commander returned home. They sat down to eat, and his wife asked, Did you receive your allowance today? He replied, Yes, go, it's in my pocket. She returned with the money and the underwear, saying, You're quite the joker, Peter. I've been looking for these panties for three days, and you've been carrying them in your pocket.
There was a man who had three girlfriends, but he did not know which one to marry. So he decided to give each one $5,000 and see how each of them spent it. The first one went out and got a total makeover with the money. She got new clothes, a new hairdo, manicure, pedicure, the works, and tells the man, I spent the money so I could look pretty for you because I love you so much. The second one went out and bought new golf clubs, a CD player, a television, and a stereo, and gave them to the man. She said, I bought these gifts for you with the money because I love you so much. The third one takes the $5,000 and invests it in the stock market, doubles her investment, returns the $5,000 to the man, and reinvests the rest. She says, I am investing the rest of the money for our future because I love you so much. The man thought long and hard about how each of the women spent the money. Finally, being the mere man he was, he decided to marry the one with the biggest Once, a woman went to a pet store to buy her husband an animal for his birthday. But everything she liked was too expensive, so she asked the seller to help her find something cheaper. All right, the seller said, I can recommend excellent giant frogs. They're quiet, harmless, and I'll let you in on a secret. They're trained to perform oral We've sold 30 of them this month. Great, the woman said. I'll take it. She thought to herself, If this is true, I'll finally get rid of this unpleasant duty. I won't have to perform oral At home, she ceremoniously handed her husband the gift and told him about the frog's outstanding abilities. But he didn't believe her and turned it all into a joke. In the middle of the night, the woman was awakened by the noise of pots and pans. She rushed to the kitchen and saw her husband and the frog studying a book on tasty and healthy food. What are you doing in the middle of the night? she wondered. If this frog learns to cook, her husband shouted with burning eyes, I'll kick you out. <laughs> Little Johnny came from school. Dad, the math teacher wants to see you. And what happened? My friend said that the teacher asked him how much is 7 to 9, and he replied 63. Then she asked how much is 9 to 7, and he replied, What the difference? Indeed, what's the difference? The father wondered. All right, I'll go. The next day, the son comes home from school and approaches his father. Dad, did you go to school? Not yet. When you go, also visit the physical education teacher. Why? We were exercising, and he asked me to raise my right hand, so I did. Then he asked me to raise my left hand, and I did. Then he asked me to raise my right leg, and I did. Then he said to raise my left leg, and I replied, Am I supposed to stand on my... True, the father said. All right, I'll go. The son comes home from school the next day. Dad, did you go to school? Not yet. Don't bother. They expelled me. Why? They called me to the principal's office, and when I went in, the math teacher, the physical education teacher, and the art teacher were sitting there. And why the art teacher come? I asked the same thing. <laughs>